this vintage Napco Santa figurine holding a wreath. Another thing that I really enjoy selling aside from toys is vintage Christmas items. Just love it. Got this at a garage sale for 50 cents and I sold it. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, this is a bread butter Bolo video. This is where I tell you what I sold on eBay for $35 or less. That's what I call my bread and butter. Items that I can pick up cheap and easy at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, items you may walk past. I'm gonna tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. All right, the first item here are these ornaments. And these came out of a thrift store Christmas box, not something I would pick up at all. Um, I almost didn't list them. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to try it. I ended up selling these pretty quickly for $14.50 plus shipping. The next item I sold is this Monty Python rabbit. This came out of a mystery box that was sent to me by a viewer who is now a good friend and a um, member of my channel. She's also a moderator of my Facebook group, but she is a huge big money bolo finder with an amazing YouTube channel and you have got to go sub her up. Her name is Terry and her channel is Mindful Recycle Terry. So back when I first met her, she sent me this box and it was a mystery box and she had like these little clues and I had to guess what the item was and she put a lot of thought into it, but I'm telling you, I pulled so many big money bolos out of that box. This is one of the Bolo items, and I sold this for $35 plus shipping. Uh, definitely be on the lookout for this little guy. Um, I did a, another video recently where I sold a puppet, and I knew about that puppet because of this item that I had received from her. And I paid 50 cents for the puppet at a garage sale, and it sold really quickly, I think for like 15 bucks. So this uh, Monty Python, I don't know. I guess he's something to that people search for. Uh, this Lego... Be Bionicle. The Bionicles, I usually pick them up. I love it when they're already put together. Uh, they stay put together pretty well, but this one was incomplete and I was selling it for replacement parts. I sold this for asking price of $8.40 plus shipping and this came from a garage sale for 50 cents. This right here is a vintage Barbie Rapunzel children's collector first edition Barbie doll. I got this at a garage sale for $3 and I sold it for a best offer of $30 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage Napco Santa figurine holding a wreath. Another thing that I really enjoy selling aside from toys is vintage Christmas items. Just love it. Got this at a garage sale for 50 cents and I sold it for a best offer of $15 plus shipping and it did have some paint loss. So always disclose anything like that right there on the wreath on his hand. And I always say, see photos and use Zoom. The next item that sold is this vintage, uh, it's a uh, Dominican Republican Porto, Porto Plata hat. And I actually sold this once and it got returned because they said it was too small. And I was like, okay. So I got it back and then I sold it again. And I sold it for a best offer of $10 plus shipping. And I got that at a garage sale. I guess I'm 50 cents or less on that. I was hoping it was going to be worth more. These are vintage Briar horses. I went ahead and put these two together because they kind of looked similar. I don't know if they're from the same time frame or not, but I ended up selling these for $30 best offer. And I got these at a garage sale and I don't remember what I paid for them. This right here came out of a thrift store toy box and <laughs> I looked her up and her name is Jade and she is from the sleepover party, but she has no feet friends and she's still sold. Uh, so people will use these for replacement parts or they will put feet on them. And she has her cool little outfit and I sold her for $9.80 plus shipping. The next item is this Transformers Rescue Bots Optimus Prime. Um, from the mobile command headquarters. And I got this at a thrift store for a quarter and I sold this for $16 plus shipping. I always pick up these little rescue bots. Some of them can go in the $30 range, some of them in the $20 range, but a lot of them are just bread and butter, but you can usually pick them up really cheap. 
The next item I pulled out of the Goodwill bins. Um, I went to the bins, I left and I came back and went through the bins that I had already looked through. And I put that video over on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. This was one of the items that I picked up. I ended up selling him for $15 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage gunned plush. I picked this up at a thrift store. It's in one of my uh, videos, a huge plush haul. I went and they had totes and totes of plush. It was amazing. I pulled a um, a plush out of there, a vintage small stiff plush that I ended up, I think, selling for like 75 bucks. So, and I paid a dollar for it. But this was 99 cents plus shipping, or I'm sorry, plus tax. And I sold it for $10 best offer plus shipping. The next item is this Alex and Ani Zodiac Pisces charm expandable bracelet. This was actually out of an estate lot of jewelry that my husband brought home. I picked out some pieces and listed them for him. This sold pretty quickly for $15 plus shipping. The next item is this Boyd's Bears Bailey in England ornament. This came out of a thrift store mystery box. I don't pick typically pick up the Boyd's um, figurines unless they're like Halloween or something special. This one was in a mystery box. So I went ahead and listed it because it was in the original box, had the original packaging, easy list, ready to go. Um, and it sold pretty quickly for $14 plus shipping. This guy right here, I don't remember where I got him. He may have come out of a mystery box. He may have come out of the mystery box that I got from tea auctions for you. I pulled a lot of vintage toys out of there, but I ended up taking a best offer of $10 plus shipping for him. He's from 1984 Glob A-Team Rattler. Man, what is going on? I am selling all kinds of stuff tonight. Um, late night shoppers tonight. Wow. It's um, it's midnight. That's my third sale um, tonight while I've been recording. So this figure is from Hong Kong and we will look at that sale at the end of the video. I don't know if it's going to be good or not. Um, Okay, I looked at it. I'll, I'll tell you guys at the end. It's nothing big. It's a it's a bread and butter. It'll go right. It'll grow perfectly with this video. Um, Ten dollars on that one. Okay, this little guy right here also came from that same thrift store video where I bought all the plush. I paid a buck for this, but I just thought he was so cute. He's a vintage jointed miniature posable teddy bear, and it said ACS one thirteen on it. I couldn't find any comps. I actually can't believe how quick it sold considering, but I sold it for $7.50 plus shipping. These red flocked Christmas reindeer came out of a thrift store mystery box, a Christmas box. I sold these for $10 plus shipping. This little guy, I always pick these up. They are the laugh and learn um, figures. There's a monkey, there's a bear, and I think there's uh, something else. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. If anybody knows, put it in the comments. Um, I got this at the Goodwill bins. I have sold these on multiple occasions, so I knew it would sell. Sold it for $8.40 plus shipping and did not weigh very much. So probably maybe a quarter, 50 cents in that. This is the authentic Disney store Aladdin Genie. And he did take longer than I thought to sell. I picked him up at a garage sale. I don't remember what I paid for him. I usually play a dollar or less for my plush. Sold this for $13.99 plus shipping. This right here is a vintage Fairfield greeting card, and it is so cute. Let me show you some pictures here. It's got the yarn, and they're like playing with this yarn. Is that adorable? I should have put that as my main photo so you could actually see it. It is written in, so uh, not perfect condition, but I ended up selling this for $4.50 plus shipping. This item here is a Fisher Price Loving Family Dollhouse Pet Dog Food Water Dish. Again, probably not something that most of you are going to mess with, but Sometimes I, if I'm listing, like I'll get a tote of loving family and I'll just start listing it. And if there's not something I can bundle it with, and I've already looked it up, I might as well just list it really quick. So this for $4 and 90 cents plus shipping probably had like pennies in it. Here's another Fisher Price loving family item. This is a bed. I sold this for $17 plus shipping. This is a Playmobil replacement hinge for the folding take along house. Um, I bought the house. I can't remember. I think it was broken or there was an issue with it. And I was like, how can I make some of my money back? And I'm like, I'm going to try to list this hinge. And you know what? It sold. There was also another piece I pulled off of there that also sold. 
So just unbelievable, these little weird replacement parts that do really good. And again, check out that replacements parts video. I have a whole video, a what sold video on items that are parts, pieces, replacement parts that I have sold on eBay for good money. Uh, so check that out. This I ended up selling for $6 best offer plus shipping. I feel like that went internationally also. This vintage Delft pottery hand painted elephant. I got this at a thrift store for $3 and I sold this for $18 plus shipping. And that's the information on the bottom. This right here, Eddie Walker Midwest of Cannon Falls Halloween cat witch ghost signed. I got these for, um, I'm sorry, out of a mystery box from a thrift store, a Halloween box. And I sold these for $18 plus shipping. This right here is a Madwell sun hat or I'm sorry, not Madwell, Madewell sun hat. And it's got the scarf accent. I got this at a thrift store for $2, ended up selling this for $28 plus shipping. And I never sold straw hats until I watched Butterfly Hustles. If you haven't subscribed to her channel, definitely go sub her up. That's where I learned about these hats. And if you guys have been watching me a while, I always shout her out whenever I sell a straw hat because I wouldn't have known if it wasn't for her. So go sub her up. She is amazing. Her channel is awesome and she is just the sweetest person. The next item is this vintage Playmates, Little Playmates Space Station Green Alien. And it says I got it out of a mystery box. So I'm gonna take my word for it. I remember getting something like this from a garage sale also. So maybe I've sold multiples. Sold this for $12.60 plus shipping. This right here is a really cool Marvin Gardens title deed monopoly card brooch. Um, I got this at a garage sale. I probably had 50 cents or less in it and I sold it for $14 plus shipping. All right, so this here is an RCA motorized cassette adapter allows VHS C tapes to play in VHS VCR. No clue what that means. I just wrote what was on the package. Got this at a garage sale for $1, took a best offer of $20 plus shipping. This item right here came from the Goodwill. Oh, no, wait. Hmm. I have garage sale, but I am certain I got this at the Goodwill bins. I got this at the Goodwill bins. Maybe I had something that I built the listing off of and I forgot to change it because this was definitely the Goodwill bins. And um, what on earth? I think I just forgot to log this one. Yeah, because it says that um, it sold for $20 and it didn't. This is an auction for $34.99. So I just forgot to write it down. So Goodwill bins, so probably three or four bucks. It was a little bit heavy. It's a Wild Bird Baby Carrier Wrap in bluish gray linen. $34.99, one bit on that. This next item here is this Wild Republic uh, Goose. It's a... Uh, water bird and it's a plush and i have done really good with this brand they seem to sell really good um i, I don't know why but i guess they're collectible sold this one for nine dollars and 99 cents plus shipping so not big money but usually a quick quicker item to sell this is one of those where i can't believe i listed it usually i just donate things like this but it's a just play kids play stethoscope doctor nurse hospital pretend play dress up I got this at a thrift store and um, it was like with a bunch of other little toys. I ended up selling this for $7 plus shipping, which I think is pretty fantastic. This right here came out of a mystery toy box. Um, I kind of knew what was in there, but I went into the auction late. So I didn't see everything she held up, but I knew I was getting toys with damaged packaging and I removed the toys from the packaging. There was an outer packaging on this that I took off, but left it in this part. I got this from Donatella, Bot Donatella Botolino's YouTube channel. She um, has selling events and she wholesales items, pre-owned items, and sells them from um, sells them to resellers. Uh, Donatella Botolino and auctions for you. Definitely check them out. I had two of these in the box and I sold, let's see, one of them for 30, both each for $30 each. So 60 bucks just in those two items. You can check out the whole unboxing over on my, uh, over on this channel. This vintage Fisher Price Happy Apple Chime Toy Wobble Rolly Pulley Toy. I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents and I it was a church sale and I sold it for $15.40 plus shipping and it sold fast. This little guy came out of a mystery plush lot 
that I picked up from Donatella Bottolino, but I didn't pick it up. Noelle Farm Girl Scavenger picked it up and had Donna send it to me as a gift. And this little guy was in there and he is just too cute. But Noelle and I unbox this um, box together. If you guys want to see what else I got in the box, I sold one of the plush in the box. Um, I think it was, nope, that was a different one. That was a different one. That was another plush lot that I got from Donna. It was in a recent, um, or not really recent, another video I did against the Rebel reseller and uh, plush lots. So the plush lots were $50 free shipping at this time with shipping rates going up and everything. I think she just did a batch not too long ago for $60 free shipping and she puts them in a big, huge bag and wraps them all up tight and ships them out to you. So $60 free shipping, not too shabby for a big ball of plush. Check out those videos that I have. Um, it probably says like plush unboxing. Uh, one will say farm girl scavenger in the title and one will say the rebel reseller. And if you check those out, you'll see what types of things you get in the mystery plush lots. They are complete mystery. You don't know what you're getting. So thank you guys so much for being here. I will link Donna Telebottolino and auctions for you down below. If you're looking for inventory, it's a great way to source on YouTube. And I have bought from them a whole lot. And um, I highly recommend them. I mean, they have been, I've always had great stuff. So check them out. Oh yeah, we were going to look at what I sold. Let's see. I sold, because we got a cha-ching during the video, so let's see what it is. I got it at a garage sale for a buck. I think this was in one of my videos. Yeah. And I parted it out, but this is a Geotrax Yellow Grand Central Station train remote control only. And I sold that for $11.70 plus shipping. So nice little bread and butter bolo there for you guys. Okay. Thank you for being here. There's going to be some videos popping up here and here, a subscribe and another video down below. Check out one of those videos. Thank you again so much. I appreciate you. Leave me an emoji of something in the comments. <laughs> Thanks for watching.